Hello, my name is Isaac, and today I've been busy. I've got this little area sorted, so I finish off the barn on the outside at least. There's going to be more that I'm going to add to it, but not yet. Then I've got a nice little pathway. I'm finished with this gravel driveway. I got rid of this hideous road, and I decided to texture the gravel with some andesite and stone. I've got a block of stables down here. There's only six. I will be putting a gate here, and I do need to finish off this bit, but I've run out of gravel near enough. I'm messing around with the ideas on um, on here and how to make it look a bit more like like bars, but not using actual bars because I used to build stables when I was when I was a little bit younger. I used to, it was my first job, so building stables was kind of like what I used to do. Not brick stables. I used to build wood stables, but I do know a little bit about how to build the stables. So I tried to base it off what we kind of built. We used to build something a little bit like this where it had a section down one side, a section down another, there was a tack room at the end and then it rose up in the middle, it was one of the fanciest ones we did. I also used to do fencing and concrete and stuff like that so I really just kind of tried to think about what I would do but I've got myself a paddock here, I do intend on putting a field shelter or something in it, I've got a little pond, there's, there's not generally things for like ponds and stuff in paddocks but I just thought it'd be fun. But anyway on to what I want to do today, so I'll quickly fly over there and I will show you what I'm on, what I'm looking at and then we will get into it. Also, just very quickly, I absolutely had no idea until the other day that these could even spawn underwater. But now I'm going to take the gold. There we go. Yeah, I found one um, the other day, right next to where I want to be. And it had a bunch of golden carrots in it, so I was very thankful for it. So, first and foremost, the most exciting thing I found was a mushroom biome. I've literally, in the entire time I've ever played Minecraft, found maybe three or four of these legitimately in my world. I know that they do spawn, but I've never I've never really been able to find them and I absolutely love them. I love the mushrooms. I love the colour of the of the mycelium. <laughs> I even love the mushrooms. And if you don't know, you can actually take a bowl, put the bowl on them and then you get free mushroom stew. So if you're stuck for food and you spawn on a mushroom island, you can take these. And also one of the other bonuses is in a mushroom biome no mobs can spawn, so only mushrooms can spawn. As far as I'm aware, I'm pretty sure there's no passive mobs apart from mushrooms, but I do know that no hostile mobs can spawn. So if you want to build something and you don't want to light it up, if it wants to be in the dark or something, you can build it in there. The next thing I want to show you is right next to it, and I was very pleased that I found this actually because this is one of the things I wanted to do next. This is an ocean monument, so as you can see there's one of the scary guys over there, and this, if I can fly over, I know the sun's setting, it always seems to set just as I need to show you something, but this is the structure. If I go a little bit too close, I'll probably get mining fatigue. There's there's some good stuff in there, there's some gold, and uh, I can also use this to make a farm very shortly. So I can mine out the whole area, I can drain it, and also sponges are in there. Sponges are very good for cleaning out large amounts of water very quickly. I'm going to fly back to my base because uh, I was an idiot and forgot all of my stuff. I also did forget to put my armor on, but... I'm going to go get all my stuff, get a few potions and stuff brewing, and then I will meet you back in this exact spot right here when I've got everything I need. So I shall see you then. Sorry I lied, but I just wanted to show you that <laughs> he just killed his own captain and I got the banner. Yeah, I got completely destroyed as soon as I walked through the portal. Apparently there was an entire raid waiting in here for me, so that was fun. Okay, so I lied again but I just thought this would be helpful. If you already know how to brew potions, then just skip this part, but this is for the people that don't. This is a back to basic series after all, but first thing you want to do is put in some blaze powder. This will charge it up. Then you want to go ahead and put three bottles in. A lot of the crafting recipes for the specific potions differ, so you don't always need an awkward potion, but the vast majority of the times you do, so you'll need never what. I'm going to do this in two of them. And now that it's done for the water breathing, we're going to throw in a puff of fish. And now that's finished, we're going to throw in one piece of wet redstone. This will take it from being 3 minutes to 8 minutes. Okay, now I'm in the exact space I promised you to be. We've got 48 minutes worth of waterproofing potions. If that's not enough, then I've seriously failed. I give up Minecraft. <laughs> Having Depth Strider for this will definitely help. I've got Depth Strider 3, and I've also got protection on the boots as well. So this is going to significantly help because it's going to reduce the damage that I take. It's also going to mean that I can walk through the water three times as fast. 
I've additionally got an Aqua Affinity and Respiration Helmet. So it will aid in it as well because then that means that I can stay underwater for longer without taking without taking too much damage. So if it does become an emergency, my potion wears off, I've got a little bit of time before it becomes a problem. Whereas if I don't have my helmet on and I go underwater, as you can see my bubbles are already starting to deplete. I put them on and it goes significantly slower. So it just gives you that little bit of extra time in case your potion wears off and you're not quite concentrating because it can get quite hectic in there when you're taking damage. So I brought some golden apples and I brought my chest plates. Pop the chest plate on, also gonna set the spawn. So I guess we'll just chug the water. Oh, I accidentally filled up with water. And let's go. So as you can see now, my hearts are not go uh, my as you can see now my bubbles are not going down. Just gotta hope we make it in there without too much of an issue. Whoa, I got Dolphin's Grace just then. <laughs> As you can see, that little thing that we just got there means that we've now got Mining Fatigue. And this will essentially stop me, even with the fastest of beacon effects, from mining through blocks. It is incredibly slow. As you can see, I've got one of the best pickaxes in the game. And I still can't get through it. And any time I get close to doing it, you get one of these guys that comes through and shoots you, so... So there's three things that we're looking for in particular. There's these three rooms. There is three enemies to fight in this structure. You just have to kind of find them. So just swim around and as you can see there's nothing good there. I should have brought some blocks really but I didn't really think about that. Wow this dolphin's race is really not helping me right now. <laughs> My god this is dreadful. I'm going to try and avoid taking as much damage as possible. Because if these guys get you in the line of sight for too long. As you can see there he's starting to take damage to me so you want to try and keep moving keep swiping otherwise we're going to take too much damage I'm actually going to have a golden apple just to make sure because getting back in here without all of my stuff on is going to be a nightmare it's getting ping ponged around this is really difficult <laughs> I hate fighting underwater anything underwater is just awful alright so this is one of the rooms we want to definitely look out for because there's 8 gold blocks in the middle but that's not why we're here we need to try and find a big room. So a big room will contain an Elder Guardian. They kind of look like these other guys, but they're a little bit more powerful. And these are the ones that constantly refresh the mining fatigue. So in order to do any or any amount of work around here, you need you first need to get rid of the Elder Guardian. All right, so here we go. I'm absolutely terrified, but we found him. Eat my golden apple just to make sure because I'm taking a lot of damage. Oh god. <laughs> Whoa! Dolphins, why? Man, Dolphin's Grace really does not help at this time. Yes, we got one down. I'm gonna swim away real quick. I'm gonna eat. So fast! Whee! <laughs> Can't catch me! Go away. Stop being electrocuting. This is like what I imagine a hard stair to feel like. Just. Ah, I can't hit anything! Ow! After this is literally just me running around for like 20 minutes trying to find where I was going, so I'm just gonna cut to the Elder Guardian fights and you can see those. There's another one. There we go. And. Oh, we got a sponge. I think I might have accidentally left the sponge in the other room. Oh, here he is! Hooray! We did it! So now, I should have brought a bucket of milk with me, but I completely forgot. But we can go and mine that gold. Or you can just completely forget. Well, I don't know about you, but that does look a bit better. It's not amazing, but I've got a lot I want to do to this. It just looks better than it was. Looks 
more like I've filled out the area than just plonked a building in the middle of a field. Well, what you want to do when you get back with your foot sponges? <laughs> I'm 100% leaving that in. I did not know why I called them foot sponges. <laughs> it's just brilliant. I love it. So this is what you want to do when you get your sponges. You can smelt them and it will give you just sponge. Or you can place them down in the nether and they will dry instantly. It is theoretically faster if you've got a whole bunch of them, but seeing as I've only got three, I'm just going to do this. I've got a little pool of water down here that I don't really need because I will be putting a barn over here eventually. So just to show you what it does, if you place it down, it absorbs a whole bunch of water. So essentially you can use just a few to get rid of almost all of that. So I used three and I've literally got one source block left. And then you can just mine it. I missed there we go. And you can just mine it and smelt them again. They're reusable. They're quite a valuable resource, really. I think you can get more than three per ocean monument, but I do know that there's quite a few ocean monuments that spawn around the world. Additionally, with the sponges, you can also actually get a sponge room. So it'll have, like, six or seven sponges in it as well. So you can probably, like, net yourself about ten sponges from one of them. Or if you're... A bit like me where you can, you'll can, you only have three. But it doesn't really matter a massive amount because at the end of the day, it sponges and it will help you. And there's always more if you want to go exploring. And, you know, if you copy your seed over into chunk base, make sure if you're doing bedrock, you click the bedrock section because it will default it to Java otherwise. And you can basically put in your coordinates. So if you're curious about your coordinates, press F3 and it's where it says X, Y and Z. You can choose your coordinates from there. It does not matter about your Y coordinate. It will not give you the Y value. It will only give you the X and the Z. So you only need to put in the first coordinate and the last coordinate. If we didn't get a massive amount, you don't get a lot from these. I'm also going to put puff of fish and food, even though it's not. You don't really get a lot from these. But the main thing is that we've got it. So now we can start turning it into a farm. And that can farm us things like dark prismarine, prismarine and all that sort of stuff. So... Pretty much what that was made out of, we can farm now. I quite like the sea lanterns. The sea lanterns are something I'd use quite a lot in my builds when I get a bit further up. Anyway, that's going to be it for today, and I hope you've enjoyed. I really appreciate you watching, if you have. <laughs> if you've enjoyed it, please let me know. I'd love to hear any feedback you've got. Anything you want me to do in particular, if you need any help, then just let me know. But I'll leave it with you, and goodbye. <laughs>